is a six-day film festival celebrating the art of short films. And it all happens next week. Jessica Chapman, director of marketing for Indie Shorts International Film Festival, is here. It's so good to see you. Welcome so back. Thanks for having me. Okay, so you said there's a new theme this yep, year. This year's theme is summer camp, which summer is camp. so fun. And we have lots of campy surprises around every corner throughout our festival. We have um, a six-day festival, sorry, next Tuesday through Sunday. And we'll be at Living Room Theaters that whole time. And then we'll be at New Fields next weekend. We'll be out at their amphitheater too for summer nights. Wonderful. Okay, so what can we expect with these short films? I know this is something we talk about every year, but what's on the agenda for this year? Yeah, so this year we have our summer night programs are going to be incredible. On Friday night, if you come out, we're going to do free hot box pizza, camp Come activities on. like making bracelets, all sorts of fun things out there before the screenings. But on Friday night, it's the Oscar winners program, and we actually have an Oscar-winning director oh, who will wow. be joining us with his Oscar, so you can check oh, that out. And then on Saturday night at New Fields, we will be out there again at the amphitheater, and it's going to be our award winners, and those award winners are going to be Oscar qualifiers through our oh, festival wow. or Academy Award qualifying. So you could see the next um, Oscar winning short first. I'm just loving looking at these pictures. I mean, the, the vibe seems so cool. It is so fun. We have red carpets out there. We have lots of really unique events this year. And we have 165 short films wow. that are programmed into categories, theme categories. So okay. we have, they're really easy to pick out. If you like water, we have a water program. If you like <laughs> sci-fi, we have sci-fi or horror, romance, comedy, dark comedy, yeah. you name it. And we have 165 filmmakers in town who are going to be doing Q&As after every screening. That's so fun. Let's talk about the talent, first of all, here in Indianapolis, yeah. because I know a lot of people, when they think, you know, films and things, you always think of, you know, the L.A., the mm -hmm. New York, I mean, maybe even Chicago, but Indy has some really great talent here, even locally. We do. We have two Indiana Spotlight programs, and those are films about or by mm -hmm. Hoosiers. And a lot of those filmmakers will be attending, so we have some cool events around that. Yeah. On Saturday, we have a mimosa mixer. Oh, cool. So that's included in your ticket. So yeah. you can go check out the film, and beforehand, your ticket includes mimosas, coffee, donuts, and then you get to mix and mingle with Indiana that's filmmakers. Fantastic. Well, and I talk about Indiana filmmakers, but really I would imagine that there's a lot of people who come really from all over, but who also have backgrounds from all over the country. Yeah, that's true. We have so many filmmakers. I mean, we had... 4,000 film submissions this year, nearly 4,000. 4,000, and yeah. you narrowed it down and to? And we narrowed it down to 165. How do, you, how do you do that as a judge? Like, what is that process like? Yeah, we takes a whole team, a multiple process level step team to wow. keep moving those films forward. So it's pretty incredible that we can take that, narrow it down to the best of the best. So. You're guaranteed to see some of the most incredible really shorts out there. Yeah. So it's a big deal then to get into this and to be a part of it. It's a huge deal, especially the fact that we're Academy Award qualifying. Wow. So we're going to send three films to the Academy Award qualifications, and that's a big deal. Only 34 film festivals in the that's world can incredible. say they do that. Now, do, so after this, now that you narrowed it down, do you then pick the final three that will be submitted, or is that done by a different process? Yeah, we actually then have a full jury that goes through those top films that we've selected and then the jury selects those and we have some pretty oh. incredible jury members including Coleman Domingo so yeah oh. this is some people who know their stuff they know their stuff judging. yeah man this is intense yeah in the best way possible yeah it's so this. fun and you get to meet them and that's the best part yeah. you know you check out the films Filmmakers are right there, and then you can ask them whatever you want. That's you really fantastic. get the inside background story yeah. behind their process. Love all behind the scenes. Okay, we need to wrap this up, but very quickly, our question of the day, what is the most, in your opinion, overrated or underrated movie? Do you have an answer? Oh, wow. I know, something you might have to think about. I know. I kind of, um, I love, I feel like our shirt theme is Parent Trap right now, and so I'm going <laughs> to say that's underrated and going with the campy summer vibes, but I love Parent Trap. I love it.